So today, we are making a dish using garbanzo beans, which are also known as chickpeas. Now, garbanzo beans are one of the greatest ingredients available to us. They're very healthy, super affordable, and you can find them in almost any part of the world. Anyways, the dish we are making is smoky Spanish garbanzos with an herb basmati rice. You know, this is the kind of dish that you need in your life because it's got so many great flavors, it's very healthy for you, easy to make, and made with the simplest ingredients. But the best part is that it all comes together in just 30 minutes, making it the perfect dish for one of those busy weeknight dinners, or even better, for a relaxed weekend lunch next to a bottle of Spanish wine. Let's begin by grabbing a jar of cooked garbanzo beans. This is the same thing as the canned ones, adding them into a sieve, and rinsing them under some cold running water to remove any of the preservatives. Now this is 570 grams, which equals 20 ounces or two cups of cooked garbanzo beans. For the next ingredient to prepare, I'm gonna measure out one cup of basmati rice. This equals 195 grams. Now to make this recipe, you can use whatever rice you like. I like to use the basmati one here as it contains less starch than other rices, which makes this dish feel not so heavy. Then I'm gonna add the basmati rice into a sieve and rinse it under some cold running water. You know, washing basmati rice before cooking is essential as it ensures that the starch is removed. And you don't have to wash it until the water comes out clear. Just go between 30 to 60 seconds. And for the final ingredient to prepare, I'm gonna finely grate between five to six tomatoes. We wanna end up with one and a half cups of grated tomato which is 400 grams or 15 ounces. Now to make this recipe, you can totally use canned tomato sauce. I just prefer to use fresh tomatoes here as it gives this dish a better flavor. All right, let's start cooking up our dish. I'm gonna add our one cup of rinsed basmati rice into a saucepan, along with half a teaspoon of dried thyme, which equals 0.45 grams, half a teaspoon of dried rosemary, which equals 0.56 grams, half a teaspoon of dried parsley, which equals 0.27 grams, half a teaspoon of fine sea salt, which equals three grams, and about one eighth of a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper, which equals about 0.35 grams. Then I'm gonna add in one and a half cups of cold water, which equals 356 milliliters, and one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, which equals 15 milliliters. You know, the olive oil is so important here. Not only does it flavor the rice, but it helps the grains not stick together. I'm gonna heat this with a high heat. And we'll give this a quick mix. That way everything's evenly mixed together. After this step, you don't wanna mix the rice again. You just let it do its thing and let it cook without being disrupted. Once this comes to a boil, I'm gonna place a lid on the saucepan and we'll lower the fire from a high heat to a low heat. While the basmati rice is cooking, let's make our smoky garbanzo beans. I'm gonna heat a fry pan with a medium heat and add in two tablespoons, which equals 30 milliliters of extra virgin olive oil. After heating the olive oil for two minutes, I'm gonna add in half of an onion that I finely diced, and three cloves of garlic that I finely minced. And start mixing them around with that extra virgin olive oil. I like to mix this continuously, that way nothing burns and everything evenly sautés. After about three minutes, and the onion is nice and translucent, and the garlic developing a light golden fried color, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika. This equals 2.30 grams. And we'll mix this all together. And like I always tell you, when you add in paprika into a hot pan, you wanna mix it in there quickly, otherwise it gets a bitter flavor. Then we'll add in our one and a half cups of grated tomato. Once again, this equals 400 grams. And once again, we'll mix this all together and we're gonna simmer the grated tomato between four to five minutes or until it has slightly thickened up. After about five minutes, and you can see that grated tomato has slightly thickened up. I'm gonna grab our rinsed garbanzo beans, add them into the pan, and season everything with sea salt, 
and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give this one final mix, that way all these ingredients are evenly mixed together. And we're gonna simmer this on a medium heat until our rice is fully cooked. Okay, let's move back to our basmati rice. It's been about 14 minutes since I placed a lid on the pan and lowered the fire to a low heat. At this point, this rice should be perfectly cooked. I'm gonna turn off the heat and let it sit here for about five minutes with the lid on. That way that steam can finish cooking up that rice. After about five minutes, I'm gonna remove the lid from the pan. And using a fork, I'm gonna gently fluff up the rice. This is gonna help the rice grains not be stuck to each other. Once the rice has been fluffed up, I'm gonna transfer some of the herb basmati rice into a serving dish. Now we'll move back to our smoky garbanzo beans that have been simmering on a medium heat. As you can see, that tomato sauce has really thickened up and all these flavors have came together. I'm gonna to remove this from the heat, add some of the smoky garbanzo beans next to the herb basmati rice, and we'll sprinkle it with some freshly chopped parsley. Check it out, our smoky Spanish garbanzos with herb basmati rice has done such a beautiful presentation. Incredible aromas coming out of this. Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. Before I try this, seriously, look how beautiful this turned out. Here we go. Those garbanzo beans mixed in with that smoky tomato sauce, that alone is so delicious. But then you combine that in with that rice with all the herbs and together, it's a symphony of flavors. You saw this, very easy to make, very simple and humble ingredients. This is the kind of dish that's gonna fill your soul with so much goodness, it is absolutely delicious. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Michael and Kelly Thompson and Dr. Michael Barbitz. Again guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, consider becoming one. It helps with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.